It's all right, not so fast. We can't show you everything at once just like that. We have prepared for you yet another great behind the scenes video we're talking about. Surprise, surprise, not for a wedding, but we're talking about hosting an anniversary party. So here we go. Hello everyone, greetings from Chateau Bouffemont. I'm Sarp, your manager here at the Chateau and your host at the Chateau Bouffemont vlog series. We have a group of guests staying with us for a week and apart from all the activities, the visits, Paris, the restaurants, all the meals that we have to organize for them, today is a special day, it's their 25th wedding anniversary. And on this episode today, we'll be walking with you and sharing our insights about how to organize the perfect dinner party. When looking into such intimate gatherings and dinner parties, you have so many special occasions to celebrate. You got the, the birthday dinner parties, the anniversaries, you have the formal, you have the casual party and of course so on and on. Anyway, whatever the occasion is, we got so many details to look into from picking up the venue, the styling, the decoration, the team and of course setting up the dinner menu. Well, we got you covered. We will look into all those details today and share our best tips and tricks like we always do in our videos on this channel. If you're looking into learning about the latest trends in event management, top tips for wedding organization, would like to walk with us behind the scenes to share the shuttle life, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on because you're at the right place. So, shout out to Daria, our editor, hit that intro and let's jump right into it. Great, so let's start. How to organize the perfect dinner party. You may think organizing a wedding with 100 guests is much more challenging, it's much more difficult. Yes, maybe because of everything happening at all once in one time. Uh, you have that pressure on you, you have to be picture perfect throughout the day as the bride and the groom. Actually, there are as much as preparations and details to take into consideration while organizing an intimate, say, dinner with twin friends. It's more chilled, easy going, but this is where all the details make the difference and I can assure you, a well-organized party can make your friends have so much fun and cherish these moments all their life. If you have a date already, you know it. Otherwise, the first thing to do is to pick up a date, which will help you decide on the type of the or the theme of the event. And then the questions to ask are, what type of an experience I want to put together for my friends? Will there be any traveling involved? If not, uh, will I invite everyone to somewhere local in my hometown? If it's going to be another destination, I need to look into lodging options, which comes to the point, picking up the right menu. Winnings with accommodation will help you cut down the transfers, struggles with the access. Also, after a long night party and a few drinks, going up to your room just to crash. Yes, that's the right thing to do and it's actually much more fun. Like here at Chateau Bouffemont, it's a classic French chateau for rent with a slightly modern twist. It's a special occasion when near Paris. The first options to come into mind can be a chic formal dinner under the crystal chandeliers or a 20s, some Gatsby costume party could go very well with the identity of the property as well. So you should go to the website of the venue, uh, look at their photos, check their previous events, what they organized, uh, what's their style. Also make sure to look on their social medias. Instagram is a great platform for that, uh, you can check Again, previous photos, make sure to look at the tag photos from the previous events of other guests. You can get some great ideas, great inspirations from those plates. Once you get those covered, the date's pinned on the calendar, the venue booked, uh, guest is finalized, then the organization stage starts. In this step, we can decide how we want to serve the dinner. It could be a cocktail where guests stand up, uh, the food being served by the waiters on trays, or simply sit at dinner. For that, round tables are quite regular and widely used. They can be quite boring and too serious for such occasions. One big long table or a U-shaped table would be definitely much more fun and much more festive. In such a layout, uh, you can have guests easily speaking to each other and uh, especially if you have some guests who don't know each other, make sure to mix them up so that everyone gets involved. So once you know your table layout, the second step would be the decoration. For today's event with 20 guests, guess who's helping us with the decorations? Of course, our favorite florist, Laura Lecam. Sit 
since today's event is uh, quite friendly and not necessarily over the top chic, we decided to, to change things around a bit and uh, move away from the cut flowers and uh, pay our respects to the whole green surroundings, our forest in our property and those beautiful lush trees uh, hugging the chateau itself. So Laura has prepared uh, more alive flowers in small photo photophores and small pots with still their roots and succulent plants with those you know tough green leaves. This choice is also great for the summer period because they can hold longer and also uh, they don't require any water for a few days. To be honest everything aside they go really well with the Tiffany green color wall, uh, the wooden table and this white table coat. Another point we really like is the fake candles. They actually hold much more longer than the real ones, they don't make a mess, drop around and especially in this weather I guess we don't really need to heat things up more. Talking about the season, like we said in the flowers and the decoration, the food, it also needs to be in line with the season, so, which moves us to our next step. When it comes to deciding what to serve at the private dinner party, I think it's important to let yourself be guided by the, by the venue or the event planner if you have one. Uh, if it was for like a big group, many guests, a large event, um, it would be maybe wise to go with the catering company option. But for such a small party, working with a private chef would make a whole much of difference. Ask your guests if they have any allergies or any dietary requirements, after that just let the chef come up with the suggestion. Only thing to consider is if the ingredients, the products are fresh and seasonal and of course in, the, in line with the type of the event, the theme. It's always nice to start with a cocktail first, so before moving to the table, it's a good idea to gather all the guests around, serve some small food, and uh, this, this active moment can actually really set the tune up for the whole night for a one fun long night party. Don't forget the champagne, of course. Everyone loves some fizz. And some refreshing drink just before the dinner. Then once the guests are at the table, make sure to serve red and white wine to complement all the dishes throughout the dinner. The venue or the chef should be able to make some good suggestions to pair the right wine. And uh, in France, with French wine, you cannot make any mistake. Chablis Premier Cru or a fine selection from Bordeaux, especially Saint-Emilion or Poyac are one of my favorites. Write that down and uh, you can make a mistake with those. Yeah, it's almost dinner time now, so I'm getting hungry too, so let's go back up and start the party already. some good party without the good music. So all depending on the type of the event but you still have so many options like you 
can go with a DJ, live music, or you can simply put together your own music on a playlist with some good tunes. But even with that, you still have to choose the right type of music, all depending on the crowd or the, the guest, the, the profile of your guests. However, you cannot go wrong with some upbeat lounge music. Everyone loved the tunes from the 80s, the 90s, anything active. But today's dinner is rather formal, a seated dinner, so our guest chose to go with some classic music. We have a trio with violin, violoncello, and a nice big harp to balance the tunes out. It's Raphael. Raphael is our musical partner. He is the one who put together the group together today. And uh, yeah, I can already hear them playing to some tunes. So let's go up and let me introduce to Raphael. <laughs> Well now, we'll let our guests to enjoy the rest of the party and have a great evening. This means it's time to re end this month's vlog and I hope you liked this video, got some great inspirations for your next event. If you did so, give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and make sure to share this video with your most loved ones. We are very much open to any suggestions, any questions you may have, leave them in the comments below. If you have any topics that you would like me to cover, I'll make sure to get those ones on my desk. Anyway, we got some great content, great topics coming in every new month. New month, new video, it's our new motto now, so stay tuned. I hope to see you soon in the next video, next month, coming up.